Okay, folks, this is a very popular floor plan. We just got it in and I wanted to do the video while it's still here. This is the Avalanche. It's a fifth wheel, the 390 DS. It is a long one. You're probably gonna need a one ton truck for this one. We'll cover all that if you uh, send me a text and I'll put my uh, contact information here in the video. Send me a text and I'll be happy to make contact and review that. But let's take a look at this floor plan. It's got a, uh, a second bedroom back there. There's a bathroom in the back. And then there is an absolutely huge loft. See that ceiling fan and nice light fixtures right there. The lights are on, so it's a little bit bright. But uh, I'm going to let you take a look at the loft first. This loft is huge. And I'll tell you what I do like about it. It's got a ladder. And it's got grab handles up there. So as you go up the ladder... You can grab onto these handles and make a safe entry to the loft. It is not uh, precarious. And there are three twin mattresses up here. And there's space in between them. Uh, they're not right next to each other. And you're completely surrounded by windows. Of course, there's blinds. There's puck lights up there. There's a place to hook up a TV. There's a couple of air conditioning ducks so this is really a huge loft there's an emergency exit right there so you're not boxed in all these have emergency exit latches on them so you can make an exit through the uh, emergency exit you'd land up on top of the slide out there and you that is actually walkable so you'd be okay so that is the loft area and i am uh, climbing down the ladder as we speak we're not speaking as i speak all right, I'm going to leave that little snafu in there. Now we're going to take a look at the second bedroom. This is not the master suite. This is the extra bedroom. It's underneath the loft. It's got a slide out for this bed right here. And so you can walk around that bed. Plenty of room to get on and on that bed from either side. And so I don't even know how many people I guess I have to count. If there's three up there on the top, two here, that's five people. This one will comfortably accommodate seven people, if not more. So you've got uh, space here for uh, storing your clothes. Plenty of room there. Little cubby storage areas down there. You can kick some shoes down there. Chest of drawers, dresser. It's got the emergency exit latch on it also and there's a backer for a TV and then hookups for that so you've got a complete bedroom right here with a full bath it has a uh, toilet it is very well positioned you have plenty of room all the way around it you've got a large vanity area there with the medicine cabinet extra auxiliary storage for your toiletries and such uh, there's a back door so that is very convenient if you've got people staying back here in this half of the rv they don't have to cut through the rv to get in and out they don't have to interrupt anybody they're more comfortable you're more comfortable got a shower back here so you can lock this door you would put the blind down on here there's a shade and uh, you would uh, lock this door and lock the bathroom door and take a shower you'd be comfortable all right so uh, that is the uh, back section here so let's take a look at the living area you've got the Thomas Paine theater seats very stylish looking dinette a huge island you see that uh, counter space up there with the plugs on both sides. So this one has the Solar Flex 200. It's got a 200 watt solar panel. Uh, it's expandable. You can add additional solar panels. That's what the Flex stands for, additional 200 watt solar panels. There's the TV directly across from the theater seats. Large electric fireplace provides ambiance and heat. There's your ceiling fan. Nice looking light fixtures. Beautiful kitchen. Look at that nice looking wood trim on the island. And plenty of counter space. 
just going to look at the counter space. You've got all this space here. I don't think you even need those inserts in the sink because you have counter space here. Then you also have this area you could use for a deluxe coffee bar. It's got two outlets, lots of space there. You could do whatever you want with that. You put a little, uh, put your laptop there, check on things. Lots of storage up there. A little wine rack up here above the residential fridge. So this residential fridge will run on 110 and you have an inverter which is powered by your solar panel. It'll charge up if when you're on shore power plugged in at the campground, trickle charge from your truck. But uh, without making any outlandish promises, generally speaking, you can run this refrigerator as you drive down the road uh, from your battery, batteries and solar power. So there are a couple of more pantry, pantry doors that you could open up for pantry storage. You've got the uh, residential hinges there, high quality hinges. That's an inverted plug right there. That means if you're out boondocking, you're not plugged in, you can still plug in a 110 outlet. You can make a cup of coffee in your, your coffee pot. Got storage down here. You want to take a peek at that? All right, no problem. Look at all that. You keep all kinds of extra dry goods and canned goods down there. There is the oven and three burner cooktop. Nice huge microwave oven. You can heat up all kinds of stuff. Cheese, ice cream, hot cheese and hot ice cream. That's a nice snack. All right, sorry. And you've got four drawers on the back side of this island. And then this is going to be a slide out here for a uh, couple of trash cans if you want to do some recycling. You've got a separate trash can for that. You can see the PEX plumbing down in there. It's good down to negative 10 degrees. So uh, just give you a view of this one. So what's kind of nice about this one, a lot of times when you have a rear bunk area, it just seems so closed in when there's just a wall there. To me, that's one of the, that's the beauty of those windows. There's windows all the way around upstairs in that loft. That just opens it up. That's natural light coming in. You can have this door open if you want. You got some light coming in through there. You don't get that claustrophobic feeling. That is some excellent, uh, excellent work by the Keystone engineers on the Avalanche team. Kudos to you, ladies and gentlemen, who did that. I really applaud you for your uh, well thought out floor plan, taking it to the next level. They spent a little extra time on that. People were working late. When they come up with ideas like that, they're working on it. They're coming up with ideas. That's the Thomas Paine Theater seating. Panoramic view standing over here, lots of windows. That's RV luxury. You've got a window in the hallway over there, a window on the door. So there's plenty of windows here. Now we're going to go ahead and walk up the stairs. And as we walk up the stairs, we're going to take a look here. You've got a control for your max air fan, which is right up there. It's a high volume fan. We'll clear the air out in here quickly and efficiently. If you're cooking, you want to get some smoke out of the rig your rv your luxury rv uh, you can do that with the max air fan if you get somewhere it's a little bit hot when you first get there you can clear all that warm air out so there's your tank monitors light switches i mean camera work is not great here slide controls all kinds of stuff here there is your coleman mock thermostat for your air conditioning system HVAC heating and air conditioning look at that well positioned toilet it's perfectly positioned with leg room all the way around all kinds of room for your wherever you need it and then here is the uh, shower with a skylight you've got a duct in here for some air conditioning there's an additional vent right there skylight also there's the medicine cabinet and vanity area and then there is some storage right here so these are narrow but deep 
the depth, the depth of it you can see right here. Uh, the whole depth of that is how deep uh, these go. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. Extra toilet paper, washcloths, all your various and sundry uh, toiletries. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the bedroom. So you can enter the bedroom straight from this bathroom here or, sorry about the camera work, through this door right here from this hallway. So you do not have to go through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. Notice there is a tall dresser right there, a chest of drawers right there with five different drawers, nice hardware on it. And then a place right there, you could set a TV on there or you could put one on the wall. There's a hookup for it. You notice these shades have valances on them. So when you pull down the uh, blackout shade, it, it doesn't let light come in on the corners. So people cannot see as they're walking by. And when you wake up in the morning, you got a place to sit down and put on your shoes or same thing at night or just kind of wake up. Want to chat? Somebody's still laying in bed over here, talking about what we're going to do today. Just to kind of wake up, get ready for the day. You can take a peek out the window, see how the weather is. And there is a plug. I don't know if you can see it. It's right down there. That'll you can power up your CPAP machine right there. Got a king size bed, accessible all the way around. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and then there is another outlet right there. So uh, you can plug in a CPAP machine right there and it's saying you want a more table space. Well, Keystone thought about that. The Keystone engineers, they left room for a table right here. You could put your CPAP right here in the closet and plug it in right down here. Let's see. There is the plug. If You can see that. And there's a plug right there also. So you're going to be okay if you have a CPAP machine. It, there's room for it. Uh, so uh, thank you for viewing my video of this uh, very popular floor plan. It's the uh, Keystone Avalanche 390DS. And my name is Duke and I'm your video host. I work here at the dealership. Here's my contact information. And I am in the department, the sales department. So I'll be happy to personally help you walk you through the entire process, start to finish. Uh, we will get everything squared away before you get here in terms of the price, the payments, your trade-in value, no surprises, no hidden fees. And uh, I will accompany our staff as we walk through this unit with you. First, you'll just sign some paperwork that you already know about, know all the terms. So you'll sign up. We'll walk through it with you. They spend up to a couple hours, how long it takes. There's not a limit of two hours. If you've got a lot of questions, it could be longer, but two hours would probably cover it. And I will mostly observe. And then at the end, if there's anything I wanna share with you, I'll be happy to. But uh, what I will do is make a reservation for you in our campground and we have full hookup. So you can make a camping trip out of it, a urban camping trip and pick up your rv check out this the sound sites all that houston has to offer uh, depending on what you're interested in i guarantee you can find something you're interested in here to make it a fun trip and then you have a couple of days just to kind of check out your rv any technical questions uh, i would be happy to assist you i'll be happy to uh, get somebody from our service department if you need adjustments. So it's just a great way to start out your ownership experience. I thank you for viewing this video. Again, uh, here is my uh, information and please feel welcome. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you. And please uh, take a moment to click the thumbs up button. Thank you very much.